Street Fighter EX plus Alpha. Hey everybody, this is Nick from Arcade Hunters, and we're welcoming you back to another edition of Street Fighter Month here on the site and on YouTube. And this is the first of my Street Fighter PlayStation 1 home ports, and this is Street Fighter EX plus Alpha. That is a really friggin' long name, and this was actually one of the very first games that I got when I got my PlayStation originally in 1997. And I also got, uh, I think, Crash Bandicoot, and I forget what other games, but I really remember playing this, Crash Bandicoot, and I think Jet Moto, because I think uh, Jet Moto and Crash Bandicoot came with the system, and uh, I knew I wanted to get another Street Fighter game, and at the time, this... I'm pretty sure it was well received when it came out originally. I know a lot of people now will either love or hate the EX series. There were some cool things that they did, and you can see them now even in uh, some more um, Street Fighter games that are out now. And when uh, this game came out, it was released in the arcades in the winter of 96, and then, you know, it came out in 97, so it was about a year before it came out on PlayStation. Now, the game was co-produced by a company named Arika. Now, Arika, or Akira, however you want to pronounce it, was founded by former Capcom employees, and this was their first game, I think. And people will know that company from making the Tetris Grandmaster series that if you pretty much go on YouTube, you'll see a ton of videos of just how hard that game actually is. It's a lot of fun, though. And they also uh, just recently made both Endless Ocean games on the Nintendo Wii, so they're still around making games. And as you can see, the characters are all in 3D sprites, and but the game plays on a 2D field. You really can't do stuff like sidestepping, like you can in Virtual Fighter and stuff like that, but you know, I think people just don't like it just because it was in 3D and they weren't using 2D sprites at the time. But right here I had to get two matches in a of this guy. This is, of course, Skullamania. And he has to be one of my all-time favorite characters, and I really wish um, he would make a return. From what I was reading up on the Round internet, supposedly Arika and Capcom have been having uh, difficulties and fights with each other, supposedly. Um, uh, some people had asked about having some of the EX characters make a return appearance in Super Street Fighter 4, and this was on one thing that I was reading, so I'm not really sure if this is true or not. You guys can obviously comment and let me know. But um, they said like they wouldn't let the EX characters appear in Street Fighter 4, which I think sucks because there are a lot of cool original characters in the game. Just you know, besides Skullmini and Darker and Dark, and um, some of the other characters that you'll be seeing in the video. But um, you know, it sucks. I would love to see just like a Street Fighter game that included characters from every version of Street Fighter, not just like, you know, how they consider Ryu being the only one from Street Fighter 1 and uh, also Sagat, but it would also be cool to see Eagle come back again and a couple of other characters. Now, the EX Plus Alpha on the PlayStation adds in Dalsi and Sakura as extra characters that weren't in the arcade books. The um, arcade did have a update that was Street Fighter EX Plus, and that had Evil Ryu and I, I'm gonna virtue the other character's name, but I think it's Okoto. Um, there was an evil version of Hertz. There was, well, as well as two wireframe characters called Cyclones. There was Gamma and Beta. Now, the one thing that you can do in this game is they have a thing, system called Guard Breaks that each character can perform, and unfortunately I didn't have the instruction manual on me when I was playing this, so I didn't know how to do it for all the characters, but for Sakura, she has that um, high kick where she pretty much flashes her ass and that breaks. What that'll do is break your other character's block and make them dizzy, kind of like how we have focus attacks now in Street Fighter 4. And the game feels a lot like Rival Schools. It plays like Street Fighter, but it has this kind of like this floaty feel with all the way you your characters jump and move and stuff like that. Now the US version had um, animated CG endings for all of the characters, which was really cool because it was added in from the other versions that uh, we didn't get. Now, also the biggest thing that you can do in this game is you can cancel all of your super moves, and if you have a move more than one uh, bar, you can actually keep the combo going, so with a character like here, uh, Doctor and Dark, you can do um, his 
Punch Super, which is kind of like Ken's um, Sharurapa, the um, Super Dragon Punch, where it goes along the screen, and you can chain it into his Dark Shackle, where he comes out with his blades. And Doctor and Dark is another one of my favorite characters from the GX series I would love to see make a comeback. He's kind of like if we took Scorpion from Mortal Kombat because he's got this chain that um, he can shoot at you and he can also wheel you in for combos and stuff like that and he can also blow you up with explosions but he's also a lot like Baraka from Mortal Kombat where he has these blades that come out of his hand. And of course you have to talk about Skull Mania because He's a third-rate businessman from Japan who got fed up with his job and became a superhero. He's one of the craziest characters in all of Street Fighter EX, and I would love to see him come back and have a fight against El Ferte. So this is Street Fighter EX Plus Alpha, and we'll be back with Puzzle Fighter. Let's... <laughs>